Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wise star Christine Brown's new husband, David Woolley's niece, and her two children were brutally murdered in Mexico, the US son can exclusively reveal. Christine and David tied the knot in a wedding special that aired earlier this month, offering viewers a glimpse into the Sister Wise star's new family. David's relatives died after cartel members viciously attacked nine Americans. While David's children were part of the bridal party, the construction exec's mother, Evelyn, gave a moving address at the reception. At one time, he also mentioned that he had two sisters in Mexico who were in polygamous marriages. David's seven siblings are Karen, Shanna, Roy, Tamara, Harold, Christine, and Katricia. Karen, who is now 70 years old, lives in Utah, but earlier lived in Mexico. Her daughter, Donna Ray Langford, along with Donna's two children, Trevor Harvey Langford and Rogan J. Langford, sadly perished in November 2019. They were three of the victims of the widely covered Mexico tragedy that left three American moms and six children dead. The nine victims were part of a Mormon group living in northern Mexico that were driving back to the U.S. in three separate SUVs when they were ambushed. The Mormon group, having dual citizenship, was apparently traveling to a wedding in Chihuahua, roughly 100 miles south of the Arizona border. Mexican authorities said that the family drove into an area where there had been a gunfight between rival cartel groups who had an ongoing battle for territory, early that day, and were mistakenly targeted by one of the cartels. The drug cartel gunmen shot at the automobiles on a highway, murdering the victims on November 4. Donna was 43 years old, and her two kids, Trevor and Rogan, were 11 and 2, respectively. Other casualties included Ronita Miller, Christina Langford Johnson, Howard Miller Jr., Crystal Miller, and eight-month-old twins Titus Miller and Tiana Miller. The U.S. Sun has reached out to David Woolley and TLC for comment. Hero, speak us out. David's niece's kid, Devin Langford, survived the terrible attack. He was praised as a hero after hiding his injured siblings in the bushes and going 14 miles to seek aid. His sister, Kelly, was shot in the foot and his infant brother, Brixen, was injured in the chest. Speaking with ABC of his father, David Langford, at the time, Devin described Donna as a nice person and brave woman that tried to save her kids. David added, Every one of my children that survived that are living miracles. How many gunshot holes were discharged into that vehicle, at that awful site, and how many children were involved? It's amazing. It's beyond incredible that they survived. Meanwhile, Donna's mother, also David Woolley's sister, spoke to Reuters about the loss of her daughter, one of her seven children. Karen remarked, I can still hear her talking, saying, Hi, Mom. Good morning, you know. She will certainly be missed, missed, missed. A-R-I-E-S-T-S made. The following month of the attack, the Attorney General's Office of the Republic made a statement in a news release that indicated numerous individuals connected to the indescribable violence and homicides were apprehended. By February 2021, Mexican authorities said that 20 people were arrested in the case and additional warrants remain outstanding. In September 2023, it was reported that U.S. Marshals Service brought a man named Ivan Gustavo Hernandez Cabral, 24, into jail after the agency acted on a tip. Hernandez Cabral was being jailed for extradition to Mexico in connection with the ambush, according to CBS News. The family members of the victims filed a lawsuit accusing the Juarez cartel of carrying out the Mexico ambush as punishment for their public criticism and protests against the organization. In July 2022, a federal judge from North Dakota declared that the Juarez cartel must pay $1.5 billion to the victims' families. It was later announced that the U.S. magistrate Judge Claire Hochholter's award was automatically tripled under the Anti-Terrorism Act, raising the amount to $4.6 billion. P. 
P-O-L-Y-G-M-Y F-A-N-I lies. The victims that were slaughtered were members of the Le Baron family who broke away from the Church of Latter-day Saints decades ago. There is no indication that David was ever a member of the group. However, he was formally married to his late wife before she died in 2012. The Mormon fundamentalists started to travel to Mexico around 1890, mostly over the topic of polygamy. The mainstream church, located in Utah, forbade plural marriage to conform with U.S. law at the time. The families that departed from the church continued to practice polygamy after settling in offshoots elsewhere. According to a scholar of Mormon fundamentalism located in Salt Lake City, polygamy was illegal in Mexico, but there was an understanding that the government would look the other way about their marriage practices. Dr. Christina Rossetti told BBC, the families who went there were not fringe families or bad Mormons. These were leaders of the church, they weren't peripheral people. Big names went down there. The Lebaron Group's patriarch, Olmadea Lebaron, created Colonia Lebaron in Chihuahua in the 1920s. Christine Brown, for her part, walked away from polygamy in November 2021 after announcing her breakup from Cody Brown. The pair separated after 25 years of a spiritual marriage, together with sister wives Janelle and Mary Brown. Cody remains married to his younger wife, Robin. Sister wise Cody Brown was included in Christine's wedding special because he needed the paycheck, a source said to the U.S. Sun. Christine and David Woolley's wedding special aired on January 7, and despite not physically being present, Cody managed to still be a part of it. Cody and his last standing wife, Robin, awkwardly made a cameo in his ex's wedding special, but it was for a good reason. But, according to a source, he had a good reason why. Sister Wives is Cody's show. He's leader of the family, and at the beginning, he was head of the family's contract, a source told the U.S. Sun exclusively. He was the one who initiated the show. It will eternally be his program. He's been kind to allow Christine on the show at this point, but as far as the special goes, he had to be part of it because he knows it brings in money. Cody was part of the wedding special by participating in a taped interview with his last standing wife, Robin. They, along with his ex, Mary Brown, were not invited to the wedding. Apart from Sister Wives being his show, he needed a paycheck, a source stated. This is his life and it's what is helping him pay the bills. He's going to keep filming as long as he needs to. He's not going anywhere. Kevo D. Y. Bellar E. Case His Silence Cody joined in on his ex's marriage to David 60 during the show. At one point, he confessed how he had found out about the wedding. I saw a wedding announcement at my sister's house, so it was kind of curious to me that some of my family had been invited to the wedding, he told cameras. Despite not obtaining an invite to the beautiful ceremony that took place in Mauve, Utah, Robin admitted that they were happy for them and wants Christine, 51, to be happy. Cody added, Christine stated to our children, Dad has his soulmate. I'm going to go look for mine. And so I'm like, she says she's found her soulmate, and I'm happy for her for that fact. He later remarked, I hope Christine gets her perfect day with her wedding. So if she's doing something really fantastic, spectacular and gorgeous, and David's digging on her, terrific for them. Christine and Cody split in November 2021. Following their split, Mary and Janelle also declared they had separated from the Patriarch in December 2022. CESR 19. While season 18 aired until late 2023, Christine's next chapter continued in the wedding special. The second part airs January 14. There have been no official announcements made regarding another season. However, Christine seemingly confirmed season 18 in an interview where she indicated viewers will have to wait to see next season to see her reunited with Cody and Robin in the same room. A insider told the US Sun, I suspect that what they're going to do is take a brief gap from filming before they start up again. Then, they're just going to keep going because their momentum is just so high right now 
but they want to be sure to capture everything. The insider went on to add that Cody doesn't want to lose his show, so he's going to find a way to keep filming with Christine, despite living in separate states and still having anger built up. The source alleged, Christine is part of the sister wife's umbrella, together or not, and so Cody has a say whether he lets her out of it or not. They are somewhat forced to remain in each other's lives since their TLC contracts in place to film another season. Seistia YFESAR Stige Olven PAUS. During the wedding special, Cody admitted, Just because I've been angry for three years doesn't mean that I can't be happy for David and Christine. With Christine and his other two wives separating from him, his feelings were brought to light in season 18 as well as the friction it produced with Robin. However, he was seen being flirtatious with Robin when they were being interviewed for the wedding special and even locking lips. A insider shared, he's still extremely angry and he is still really different. People are going to downplay it and say that Robin's being dramatic, but she's not. He's still seeking his way back to some form of joy. As for Robin and Cody, they're not really happy, the insider added. They don't have the same life that they had previously. They're used to love and friends and family and all that joy, and they don't really have that. They just have their tiny circle right now. For now, there's a lot more work that needs to be done to fix it, which is why the source added that they're focusing on their own relationship and not pursuing a new sister wife at the time. He has it everything with Robin, he doesn't need anything else, the person claimed. And he's not really serving God anymore because it's all broken. He believes that he's failed that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.